In this episode, I'm going to talk about macro fundamentals, specifically looking at slash commands and top level objects. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to learn these, it's just brute force memorization. Um, there's going to be some specific slash commands that deal with flow of macros, but otherwise a lot of these are just commands that you may or may not want to use. So let's look at this first. So slash commands, it's broken out into three different sections on the wiki. There's the base section, the macro flow, and then stuff that's from plugins. Plugins can create slash commands, or you can create your own slash commands using the alias command. Um, so looking at the macroing and flow control slash commands, we've already seen uh, about half of these. Uh, we've seen declare, we've seen delete variable, end macro, macro to start a macro, uh, return to close out a subroutine. We've seen the var calc, var data, the var set. Some of the things we haven't seen are for, go to, and if, and these are going to be uh, commands that we use to loop or to check against uh, if something is true or false. And that's how we're going to uh, logic flow throughout the macro. Uh, in order to get from one routine to another, we have to use the call command. And then if we want to process the events, we need to do a slash do events. Uh, for the most part, these are all the commands that you really have to be familiar with. This is the really important stuff. But some of these other ones uh, you may or may not use in your macros. So we can look at a couple of these commands just to see. We've seen echo already. We know what it does. Um, some of these commands double up with normal EverQuest commands. So location, target, uh, they double up for EverQuest. Now let's look at some of these. We can do a face command. Click on the actual command. It brings it to the wiki page. It tells you all the different options you can use. So I can look at items. I can look at doors. I can look at fast. I can do no look. I can predict where something's going to be. Let's do a face, fast, no look combination. So we'll switch the game. We have mob targeted. Face, fast, no look should make me instantly turn to the mob. And it does. So if I turn around again, just type face, which was the generic command, turns me slowly to the mob. Okay, great. Uh, we can use an echo command. Echo target. So now we've echoed the target. We can do the pop-up command that says, pops up a blue message in the middle of my screen. Target. So now it's popped up in my screen. Um, you know, whatever commands you feel like you need to use. Some of the more common ones are going to be echo, cast, maybe AA, but you can use some normal EverQuest commands for those. Um, item notify, but that's been replaced with use item command for normal EverQuest. Uh, it really depends on what you're trying to accomplish for your specific macro. So you'll figure out what you want to do with your subroutine or your specific action, and then you look up the command that coordinates to that. Uh, say you want to do a key press forward for movement, or you want to hit a hot key or something. So my movement key is W. So I would use key press W, and then if I want to hold it down, I would put hold. Let's see what that looks like in game. Key press W hold should make me move forward in a straight line, and makes me move forward in a straight line. Okay, great. So that's, that's the basics for command. Really, it, it comes back to what are you going to do with your macro. Now you're going to have the same uh, problem or issues with top-level objects. The trick to using these is figure out what you want to know, and from there you can go to your top-level object and figure out the data types for each one. So for a top-level object, this is going to be the first word in your um, TLO or member. So if I'm looking at, say I want to do my percent hit points, I will look at the me top-level object because I want to know mine. And that gives me access to the character data type, or the spawn data type. And I want to know my percent of hit points. So I scroll down. Here's my percent hit points. It's an integer. So it's me dot percent hit points as an integer. So if I'm over to my macro, if dot percent hit points is 
greater than 80 and face the mob. I don't know. So do something. So I'm using me as the first, which is the TLO, and then I'm using percent hit points, which is the data type or the member. So whenever you're accessing the, the TLO and members, remember that the TLO is always first, and then the member or data type is next. So we can look at some other data types for some commonly used stuff real quick. Um, me dot percent mana. There's all the different personal character attributes that are on here. Um, me dot alt ability ready. Me dot ability. Me dot spell. Uh, all these different combat things. Basically, everything that has to do with your specific character is going to be under the me data type. If you're looking at stuff that's going to be under your target, it will be under the target TLO, and then you can click the target uh, data type, which is specifically for buffs, or you can look at the spawn data type, which is for everything else. So if you want to find out your target's level, your target, if it's in line of sight, so it gives you what the um, data type is, as far as the type itself, it tells you what the data type name is or the member and then it tells you what it does so the wiki is priceless when it comes to figuring out what you want to do you, you absolutely have to just go through I use it all the time even though I, I'm pretty familiar with almost every command I still find myself looking at the wiki all the time um, but you just figure out again what task or individual action you want to accomplish so say I want to find an item on me see if it has an, a timer so I can look up an item this will tell me if I have one on it. And then it gives me access to a data type. So say I want to find out what's in the AUG slot 1, or say I want to figure out if there's haste on it, or say I want the ID of the item, or I want to know what inventory slot it's in. And I can do all this stuff. So as long as I know I'm dealing with an item, I can go to the find item, and then I can come to the data type item, and it's going to tell me uh, what TLO and member I need to use. This is just going to take time. There's no shortcut to it. You just have to go through, click them all, try different things. Uh, but those are the basics for slash commands and top level objects. Uh, you really are going to take a while to learn them, but once you do, you can do anything that's capable in EverQuest or MacroQuest. You're going to be able to write into a macro.